Pteridophytes. The pteridophytes include horse tails and ferns. Pteridophytes are used for medicinal purposes and as soil binders. They are also frequently grown as ornamentals. Evolutionarily, they are the first terrestrial plants to possess vascular tissues, example xylem and phloem. The pteridophytes are found in cool, damp, shady places, though some may flourish well in sandy soil conditions. In pteridophytes, the main plant body is a sporophyte which is differentiated into true root, stem and leaves. These organs possess well differentiated vascular tissues. The leaves in pteridophyta are small that is microphyls as in selaginella or large that is macrophyls as in ferns. The sporophytes bear sporangia that are subtended by leaf like appendages called sporophylls. In some cases, sporophylls may form distinct compact structures called strobili or cones. Example, Selaginella equisetum. The sporangia produce spores by meiosis in spore mother cells. The spores germinate to give rise to inconpicuous, small but multicellular, free living, mostly photosynthetic thalloid gametophytes called prothallus. These gametophytes require cool, damp, shady places to grow. The gametophytes bear male and female sex organs called anthridia and archegonia respectively. Water is required for transfer of anthrozoites, that is the male gametes released from the anthridia to the mouth of archegonium. Fusion of male gamete with the egg present in the archegonium result in the formation of zygote. Zygote thereafter produces a multicellular, well differentiated sporophyte, which is the dominant phase of the pteridophytes. In majority of the pteridophytes, all the spores are of similar kinds. Such plants are called homosporous. Equisetum is known as heterosporous. Genera like Selaginella and Salvinia, which produce two kinds of spores, that is, macro, large, and micro, small spores, are known as heterosporous. The megaspores and microspores germinate and give rise to female and male gametophytes, respectively. The female gametophytes in these plants are retained on the parent sporophytes for variable periods. The development of the zygotes into young embryos take place within the female gametophytes. This event is a precursor to the seed habit considered an important step in evolution. Xerophytic characters are present in pteridophytes. The pteridophytes are further classified into four classes. They are Xylopsidia, example Xylotum, Lycopsidia, example Selaginella lycopodium, Phenopsidia, example Equisetum, Teropsidia, example Trioptiris teris ediantum. Thank you for watching. Visit us at needbook.in.